What's up, guys? Welcome to IndieLoop.com, your social loop for all things independent. First episode of season two right here at the Urban Stages Theater in Midtown, New York. We're going to watch the New York Times critically acclaimed play, Honky, starring Indie Loop's very own Anthony Gaskins. We're going to go inside, speak to some of the audience members, get some feedback, speak to some of the leads, the director, and the actual playwright of the play. Super excited about this, guys. Let's go. Follow me. What are you worried about? We didn't know at the time that we were going to be cast. We all sat there and we were all talking about our reactions to it. Basically, our reaction was just like kind of stunned, and we were like, this is. This is a big deal. This is really big. This is going to go places. I just really am, am happy that the play is being done more so than anything because I think like Danielle was saying, it speaks volumes and it definitely is something that should be talked about. And um, I think people need to see it because it opens up dialogue and allows us to continue the conversation. And not only is it like super important, but it's also funny and entertaining and a talented, talented cast. Speaking of which, uh, this guy, my co-star right here, just got nominated, he's gonna kill me, he just got nominated for an Adelco Award this year with some pretty big people in this town for this performance, so. Didn't even mention it, so humble, that's why we love him. Anthony. Congratulations, bro. Thank you, man, thank you. And yes, Danielle, I will probably, I'm not gonna, I can't say I'm gonna kill you on the record because then, then I would, well, but then I also may get arrested because I am black. <laughs> Honky follows Thomas a shoe designer who questions himself after a young black teenager is shot and killed over his latest creation, Skymax sneakers. The tension following the shooting not only affects himself, but also those around him and sets off a chain of awkward and hilarious events as their relationships and lives unravel. So, what do you think of the show, Sadrick? I thought it was wonderful. It was a really great production. It was definitely very funny. Uh, and it, it also had a really good message. It just puts you in these really uncomfortable spots. You just sort of don't know, but this is also in our daily lives every day. We just come across these situations. I thought it was a really important show. Yeah. I thought it brought up a lot of really important issues about race. And when you leave, I think it's also important to have conversation and not just leave. And in the end, you know, there's, there's a big question about racism. And I think it needs to be discussed every day. And that's why this show is so important. I worked in advertising as a copywriter for about four or five years. I wanted to write a play where it was a very white industry writing for um, a non-white demographic. What I got excited about as a playwright was writing a play where language was the antagonist of the play and so that every character had to sort of deal with how to talk about what, what this issue but no one knew how to, how to use the right words. You being from that side, did you ever find yourself being like, this is weird because I'm like, I'm selling a shoe that's not quote unquote for me. I think the thing I found the strangest about it was being in so many rooms with so many white people discussing that demographic. And I think that's kind of funny and yet also kind of absurd and, um, and I think revealing. So it had such a great foundation for a, w a way in to talk about all these issues. In, in that story that he just sold is, is the tone of the play. It kind of sits inside this, this world. And that's what we've tried to create, and I think that we've, we've done that. I was able to infuse some of my own personal white guilt issues into a black character that I thought was really made the play interesting to me because I had to find a way in. I was like, how smart was it, instead of trying to write Thomas as being like a guy from the hood or whatever, how smart was it to write from a privileged black person's experience as opposed to trying to write from a, a, a kid that comes from the neighborhood? Right. You know, I thought that was very smart. I feel like that is one of Amelia's kind of larger questions. This idea, like, what does it mean when, as a society, there is kind of an image um, of blackness that is attached to this particular demographic and that's been perpetuated for commercial reasons, but then there's a reality of black people whose day-to-day -day is much more similar to the very people who are writing those commercials for this other demographic. Even the two, you know, Amelia and Anthony, who are brother and sister, even have their own different definitions of what it means to be black and how much that matters. Every time you think you've defined somebody in our play, it gets turned on you. Thomas wants to define shoes as a personal experience, and Taliesin makes it clear, we only have one goal, which is to sell shoes. And I'll do that however we 
best we do that. So every time you want to think the shoe means something more than that, the only reason that might be interesting is if that means we'll sell more shoes. Right. That's it. The character that I play is dealing with his own identity and how he can, you know, relate to, you know, blacks while also trying to, you know, but he also finds, you know, the other side of the, you know, race very interesting to himself when he sees the, when he sees Andy and he's meeting Talos and all these things he's he's you know he, I don't think that he necessarily is considering himself too black or too white or what have you but I just think it's this idea of him trying to figure out who he is as a person and as a man we're at a place right now in America and in the world in general where I think we're starting to realize that this whole idea of racism isn't such a big global idea anymore it's more of a personalized issue that we have to start to figure out within ourselves and I think this play really highlight some of that as well. So there you have it guys, at the Urban Stages, Honky, the play, it's amazing. You gotta come check it out. It's airing until November 17th. November 17th. Possibly an extension. Po let's root for an extension. I mean, hey. You gotta sell out Sundays. We're selling out Sundays. Today is Sunday. New York Times, they like it. I like it. Andy Loop loves it. Andy Loop, your social loop for all things independent. Check it out, indyloop.com. Urban Stages, Honky. The, the cast, the crew. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you.